Hey guys, what's going on? Mitsu the Kitsune here, as well as Axis and D. And we're here to bring you a Let's Play of Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition for the PlayStation 3 on the HD Collection. Did I already say that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Uh, so anyway, the reason why we're switching from the PS, uh, the 360 to the PlayStation 3 is because to both uh, Axis and myself, this game is kind of a treasure kind of thing, and um. Axis actually bought special edition. What, what was it? Three years ago? Four years ago? A while back. On the PlayStation 2, and pretty much unlocked everything on it. So for him, the PlayStation t controller is kind of be like the best fit for him in this game. And I even picked it up myself uh, when I was playing it. Oh, and um. It was quite nostalgic. So, Axe is gonna take it off from here. Here we go, guys. We don't need no stinking tutorial. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta? When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword, he shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. Sorry, not open for business yet. I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. You a customer too? Well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante, son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please, accept it. Invitation, huh?
party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Oh, this is the very first game, I guess, in the timeline, right? Yeah. It's as young as we go back into this series. I know the there are three volumes of mangas, but the third one never got released, from what I heard. Uh, that takes place before this this game, actually. It's quite interesting. Um, I, I read the two chapters. The first one is about Dante, and the second one is about Virgil. And um, the it actually it, it brings in a, a really slavish character into the series, which is really funny. But um, yeah, you guys should check that out if you can find it online. I I found it back on I think what was it one manga or something like that or mangareader.net way back when. Oh, let's get this show going. Might be a, l a little bit weird when it comes to this because, oh, I mean, I just did a playthrough for Battlefield 3, so my hands kind of got used to playing FPS for a moment there. But hopefully we can do fairly well anyway here. And I was looking through my memory card the other day, my PS2, and it said the first time I played Devil May Cry 1 and 2, back in 2003. That's a long time ago. That is a very long time. It's amazing how fast time has gone, hasn't it? feel old, don't we? We're back in 1991 playing freaking Sunday the Hedgehog. As a little kid, I didn't know what I was doing, but it was quite fun. And there's some red orbs in the back. I'm just playing the Smackdown on these kids. Oh yeah, getting those stylish points, cause you know, that's how we do it. Oh god, I thought he was gonna hit me there. But yeah, apparently, when you taunt monsters in this game, your, your stylish points go up. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a triple S, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it right now. Just because I'm so rusty at doing combos in this game. Hey, do your job. 